there is going to be a higher than average rate of needing to do a little fine-tuning or a touch-up at three to six months down the road. That is just normal to be expected because we have a very precise narrow window that we're targeting and your eyes may just respond slightly different from anybody else's eyes and there's no really any uh, leeway for one side or the other and it's got to be precisely spot on. So it's normal there will need to be a little touch-up which is a very, from your perspective, minor thing. Um, it often would be involving only one eye and it's not really interfering with anything with really no adjustment time afterwards. There is a possibility that in some patients things don't work quite as well as initially planned and there is the odd time where we will need to redo um, the press beyond treatment to at least the giving you more depths of field doing that component but we already have the flaps, we only need to lift them up, so there's no further cutting of a flap or creation of a flap involved. And it's, again, a fairly minor treatment. The only thing is that we usually wait closer to six months to be sure that the original treatment had a good chance to settle in and your eyes have had a good chance to adapt. So we're not prematurely doing something that we really don't need to do. Beyond that, any future changes are usually related to the lens. There are scenarios whereby your eyes may have indicated initially that they would only tolerate a one diopter difference or occasionally only three diopter different, a third of a diopter, sorry, three quarters of a diopter difference between the eyes. In which case, maybe five years later, we may need to create a slightly bigger difference between the eyes and the brain and the eyes will accept it much more because they see the gain at that point in time. So there's a possibility of that somewhere down the road. Most commonly at some point over the next 10 to 20 years or more beyond after that, there's going to be enough of a lens change and there'll be a lens-based procedure, the equivalent of cataract surgery, to fix that. and. All the other benefits of Press Beyond will come right back and will continue to be to your benefit on an ongoing basis. So that's uh, essentially a long-term built-in thing. Now, is it possible, is it conceivable that some people, for whatever reasons, that you come back and say, okay, well, you know, this is all cool and I can see everything, but you know, really, I picked up a new career and I'm going uh, target shooting or whatever and I need both my eyes for whatever reason to be best for uh, long distance and never mind I've decided I've give up reading I know I use reading and I've thrown my smartphone away because I'm totally anti-technology and I just want my best corrected distance because I'm going hunting and fishing now that's my new lifestyle we can completely make that happen for you. It's not the big treatment, it's any of those retreatments will be faster than the original treatment. So it's uh, in that sense entirely reversible.